Oh, where did the Pizzagate? This is becoming a conspiracy channel, bro. We had Pizzagate just recently get improved to actually have some kind of solidarity in the media while everyone was denouncing in 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, even all the way up to the Epstein reveal list that everybody was getting all bent out of shape over recently. I mean, we already know these political elites are out there doing the weirdo, weirdo stuff with the, the kids and traveling them. Designer babies are a thing, you know? No name adoptions are a thing. These prize adoption rings are also huge. Child trafficking is definitely there. Drug trade and trafficking. You're an idiot to believe that a 1% elitist isn't going to be making their money off the back end of some illegal fortune. You know what I'm saying? Most of the elitists uh, are doing that. Uh, most of them also run backing campaigns for other political figures to keep their uh, elite prowess and power in check. You know what I'm saying? So they're unlimited power when you back the United States of America and you fund them, you know what I'm saying? That's why all these spokes celebrities just speak out. They're getting paid out the back and I'm gonna be real. I think that's what it is. Anyways, let's get right into this thing. The tunnel operation under the Brooklyn Synagogue was bigger than originally thought and included at least 50 Orthodox Jews. That's absolutely insane. You know what I'm saying? Think about that. 50 plus people digging in these tunnels, bro. That's a whole operation. That's that's like two football teams, bro. That's insane. The digging became, uh, excuse me, when the digging became too much, though, the work was reportedly handed over to Mexican migrants. We literally just found out about this, to migrants. And now... I'm kind of starting to think because they said this was before COVID that these tunnels were being formed anyway. So it's been proven already that it wasn't during COVID because it was way too much massive rubble to be moved uh, through COVID. That's actually insane. So now you think about it. What was the one thing in New York? As a New Yorker, right? The one thing that they these politicians were voting for in New York was to become a sanctuary city to get these migrants to New York. That's actually, it could, it could just be a coincidence, but the timing, you have to admit, the timing is uncanny. It's absolutely uncanny. Tin foil hats on, ladies and gentlemen. The reason for the tunnels, they said, the rogue members wanted to send a message to the old geezers, quote unquote, is what they refer to them as, because they needed more room to pray. Bro, you have a tunnel system to pray in? Why? What? I'm not buying that excuse, bro. We were sick, quote unquote, we were sick and tired of being stuck in a cramped synagogue that could take 15 minutes to leave during the high holiday services. This is reported to the New York Post, by the way. They wanted to build tunnels that would take longer than 15 minutes, actually months, to escape high holiday services. Holiday services, which only come maybe twice a year. That's kind of insane to me that you would have this like network of sewers and all this other kind of stuff. It extends so much farther than from the synagogue. There's like another synagogue that it connects to too. That's insane. And only a mile away from the Epstein residence in New York City. Get the fuck out of here, bro. This was not for you guys to get a mass quick exit out of the synagogue. This is not like a trap door, secret getaway tunnel. This is not like more room to pray, bro. Why are there mattresses down there, bro? Why are there high chairs down there? Why are there car seats and stuff like that? Baby, why is there all this stuff down there? And on top of that, you could also, they could have made the excuse saying that, oh, we, the homeless people were doing this, right? But nobody was living down there. And you could just look at the video. Nobody's living down there. It looks like people were being moved through there, but there's no hot plates. There's no toilets. There's no wrappers, no food discarded, no bottles of water, stuff like that. It doesn't look like anybody was living down there. It looks like people were being moved down there. There's a very, very distinct difference. If you go look at Skid Row and what that looks like compared to these tunnels, even the, 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 the uh, what is it called? The sewers in LA, you can tell people live down there versus this. This is actually insane. Anyways, they said the point was to start an initiative on our own and then we put the old geezers in a spot where they could take the initiative and go ahead with the expansion. This is not an expansion. Once you start connecting to sewer grates, that's not an expansion, bro. I don't believe this for a second. This is a fucking cover up, bro. I'm sorry. I don't think uh, innocent until proven guilty, but if I were to move children and traffic drugs, you know, move guns, if I were going to do that, that is exactly how I'd start. That is how I would do it. I mean, it's the same thing with New York City. Another like political news though, I find it funny now, offhand, with the migrant situation, going back to the migrant situation. Iowa is now asking Texas, Iowa, a democratic state, if you will, a democratic governor, is now asking Texas to stop sending them migrants. 
Well, three years ago, all these democratic cities wanted to become sanctuary cities. They're like, oh no, they're welcome here. They're welcome here. I think it's up, uh, the number's up to 14 or 15 sanctuary states now that don't want any more migrants because they can't support them. What happened? What happened? It's almost like what Texas and Florida were saying for years and years and years. Uh, needs to be accounted for now. And just because it wasn't in your back door, your backyard, you, bro, I, I can't stand the Democrats, bro. It's always the do as I say, not do as I do type crowd in, in my experience. They're never really there. They don't really care about situations until it directly affects them. Um, gas prices being one, the war bonds being another, now the migrant situation. They just are so, how do you so, how are you so brain dead? And then the Republicans, they're all like, there, there might be truth to some of their theories, but these like gaslighting like theories and right wing conspiracy things like the Pizzagate, right? When that came out, that that actually has substance now, right? But the way they went about it is so stupid, bro. You can't get anywhere. You can't trust nobody with this kind of stuff, bro. Can't trust anybody with this information because they're always just hating ass hoes over there in the right wing. You know what I'm saying? Left wing, they're just do as I say, not do as I do type people, right? They're like the 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 Democrats in the United States are are the let them eat cake people, if you know what I'm saying. And then the right wings are off with their heads type people. Like they're both fucking crazy, both crazy, both want blood, and both are too stupid to understand the problems at hand. Anyways, I just find it funny that Iowa is now asking for Texas to stop sending migrants. New York City's doing the same thing after they all those people were vouching, hey, let's uh let's take these people in and then the cost of living went up and then people can't get jobs and people don't want to work and now they got migrants digging out fucking tunnels for sex trafficking and child deportation or whatever you want to call it. I don't know what that is. What is it? Child trafficking? Whatever. Shit is fucking stupid. I'll see you on the next one. Subscribe if you're new and I'm out of here.